This video is about keeping you and your loved ones healthy. All of us carry germs like bacteria, most of which are helpful. Sometimes though, unhealthy bacteria can cause serious infections, which need to be prevented or treated with antibiotics. Nearly everybody will need antibiotics at some point in their life. They save millions of lives and help us live longer by many years. Maybe someone in your family has had surgery, chemotherapy or a transplant, which are only possible because antibiotics have been available for managing infections. You and your loved ones will probably need antibiotics in the future, so we really need to keep antibiotics working. However, a big issue facing the world today is that bacteria have found ways to stop antibiotics working. This is called antibiotic resistance. Infections caused by resistant bacteria can't be treated with routine antibiotics, which makes them harder and sometimes even impossible to treat. This is happening more often. If we don't act now, these life-saving drugs might not be there for us and our children when we need them. Governments and scientists around the world are taking action. But to tackle this issue, everybody needs to help. So, what can we do? We can change our behaviour now to keep antibiotics working in the future. Here are some simple steps. 1. Prevention is better than cure. Wash your hands often, such as before you eat and after using the toilet. Drink plenty of fluids. Keep skin breaks and cuts clean and dry. 2. Think twice. Get advice. Remember, only take antibiotics prescribed by a healthcare professional. Viral infections like colds don't need antibiotics. Mild infections don't always need antibiotics. Rest, fluids and painkillers are often enough. Go to reliable sources for health advice such as NHS websites. 3. Handle antibiotics with care. Take antibiotics as you are advised to. Never use leftover antibiotics. Take them to your local pharmacy instead. Don't share antibiotics with others. Doing these simple things will help reduce antibiotic resistance in your community.